everybody. I want to do a little video on this really cool gun. Uh, a lot of people know what it is. It's actually my uh, one of my son's guns. I got it for him uh, for Christmas a couple years ago. This is a uh, Henry uh, lever action. It's a Golden Boy 22 caliber. Um, these are really cool design. Uh, I know a lot of people like uh, lever actions. Lever actions are really pretty guns. Um, Henry itself, uh, the brand, does a really good job on them. Uh, there are other competitors like Marlin and stuff. Uh, they do a really good job as well too. Uh, if you're interested in something weird, this is definitely the type of gun that you would like. Uh, one thing about this is it is heavy. Um, this one has an octagon barrel. Uh, this is kind of a base model. Uh, base models are pretty affordable. Uh, usually whenever you get to the etched ones are usually more a lot more expensive. Uh, this one itself, uh, one cool thing about this is it, like I said, it is a 22 caliber. This one actually shoots 22 short, long, and long rifle. Uh, so you have an option. I know uh, we shoot uh, long rifle mostly through this. Uh, I know this thing, here's the actual magazine tube. Let's see if I can pull this out real quick. Yeah, there's a little uh, cutout for your actual, your actual uh, rounds. So you, have, you actually have your rim face right here, you drop them in. Uh, this thing holds, I believe, 15 rounds inside this tube. Uh, this is spring-loaded uh, uh, shaft right here that kind of keeps them in line. Uh, so, yeah, whenever you load it, put your bullets in there, rack it back. This thing is empty, just an FYI. Uh, it does, this thing does come with iron sights, basic iron sights. They're, really, they're pretty good, though. Um, I've been teaching my boys uh, how to shoot this. I'm going to teach my daughter how to shoot it later. Um, these things are great rifles. Uh, the woodwork on it is actually really, really pretty. Uh, a lot of these, I believe, are handmade, like from the ground up almost. Uh, they are a manufacturer, of course. They, they make a lot of them, but the majority of these have someone's hands detailing it. Uh, one of the reasons it's called the Golden Boy is this brass finish. kind of looks golden, of course. Um, it is a great rifle. It does have a brass stock. Uh, the woodwork, here you go, you can check out the woodwork, the woodwork on it, it's actually really, really pretty, really pretty. Um, this is very accurate, I know I've been teaching my boys how to shoot this, and yeah, right at the box, it's very accurate. Um, it is heavy, like I said, um, uh, my children, they're kind of young, but they can handle the weight. Uh, one good thing about this is it is a hammer, so if you want to decock the hammer, all you gotta do is hold the hammer, pull, pull the trigger, make sure you hold on to the hammer no matter what and slowly walk it forward. Um, of course, whenever you're loading the next round, rack it back and you're good to go and it's ready to fire. Uh, this thing only fires, I believe, on, this thing only fires on single action. So when the hammer's forward, it does nothing. Hammer's back, you can actually fire it. Uh, we'll check out the uh, weight of the trigger just so you, you can kind of get, get a little look at it. Uh, this is, these are my personal firearms, so I know a lot of people don't like dry firing, especially on uh, rim fires, but these are my personal ones. I can do whatever I want to them, as long as I'm safe, of course. So, on a single action, there you go. There you go. Less than three pounds on that thing. Uh, so you are going to be very accurate right out of the box. It's uh, 2.9 pounds. Um, these things are great guns. Uh, the base models kind of sell really fast. I know we can get uh, various uh, etched models, uh, and you know uh, we can get specific models that are uh, tributes. Uh, but yeah, if you're not into that, you may have to wait around for a little bit for a basic model or a basic etched model. Either way, 20 caliber bullets are great. They're actually some of the best bullets you can shoot because they are very uh, affordable. Very affordable. Uh, very lightweight. You can carry a thousand pounds in your pocket, not even a thousand rounds in your pocket, and almost not feel it. Um, very capable firearm. Uh, very capable bullet. Uh, some people are always dogging on, or they're pro, super pro, or super against 22. I believe if it goes bang, it should be fun, and as long as it can defend yourself, that's all that matters. Uh, if you are going to use one of these, you're probably going to be using it towards uh, smaller game and stuff like that anyway. Uh, coyotes and below and stuff. Uh, it does come with a little sock to protect the brass cover. Uh, we, usually, we always put that on. Uh, it's probably one of our favorite guns in our in our house. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to be teaching my daughters how to shoot this, but for now, just my boys. 
yeah, hopefully you like the video. I know it's pretty short. I uh, don't have too much to say on it. It's pretty basic, pretty straightforward firearm. Uh, it is pretty heavy. I'm going to get a pretty long. I will, give me a second and I will get a measuring tape. All right, this is a, uh, the only measuring tape I could find right now. Everything is missing. Uh, barely moved here, uh, so all my stuff is everywhere. So anyway, here is a little measuring tape that you could probably see. So from front to back, from barrel, muzzle to stock, it's about 39 inches. Uh, this is a 16 inch barrel, so it is pretty long, pretty, pretty heavy. One complaint I do have about this, which is like the only complaint I do have, is your cheek weld is very low compared to your eye relief so um a lot of times i don't even put my cheek on here i just put my chin against it so that way i can be pretty aligned uh, that's why i had to teach my boys i know uh one thing i'd like to do i'd like to see if i can find or get into uh leather work so i can kind of get a, like a, a cheek riser just built here uh, that's made out of leather probably so that way you can kind of match the aesthetic uh, other than that, these are great, great firearms. If you ever get a chance to, definitely try them out. Like I said, they are heavy, but they do feel really good quality. Uh, there's almost no vibration on the uh, lever. Uh, trigger on it's pretty good, really good. It's three pound trigger on a rifle. Uh, very accurate, very pretty guns, uh, show pieces almost. Uh, so yeah, if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, I will be around now. So like I said on my other video, uh, it hasn't came out yet. Or probably has came out. I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, I was I was busy with the this transition to the new to the new store. Uh, our sales storefront is called San Miguel Arsenal. Uh, our website is sm-arsenal.com. Uh, Iron and Tactical is still going to be around. We are going to be the uh, training and video side. So kind of a little little separation on that. Uh, but we are the same people. Uh, we did move a little bit closer to I-45 uh, in Rayford. So we we're we we're a couple blocks away. Uh, now we're on I-45 now. Uh, yeah, I will be making more videos as uh, as time goes on. Uh, I still have a regular job, just an FYI, so I usually get it. Usually takes a little while for me to, to make videos, just because I'm always out of town. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to come by if you're in the area. Um, you know, give us, you know, uh, shoot the shit for a little bit. Uh, talk to us. You know, we're we're gun fans. We like machines in general, but we're specifically gun fans. Uh, we're always trying to keep up to date with new laws and new regulations and new technology on guns. Uh, so now that we got everything all settled, hopefully we can get start getting more videos and more guns uh, And more equipment not just guns, you know knives and stuff like that just things that we think are cool or that people shouldn't like know more about or if there's videos that they don't That aren't around very much. We'll try making a new video for specifics on it uh, Yeah, just come by pass by email us uh, Say hi whenever we get a chance. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Y'all take care